Welcome to a small tutorial and supporter study on the map skills question which falls into the land use suitability um, and glaciation and this question came up in the 2019 paper for the SQA National 5 exam in geography. Now what it's saying is study this diagram in front of you which is a picture and the Ordnance Survey Map Extract of Item A so on the paper it will say Item A and it's the map of the Killing area um, A developer has applied for planning permission to build 10 holiday homes in a grid square of 5833 Now crucially, no marks were awarded um, within this question if you spoke about things out with the grid square of 5833 Now, that becomes a bit of a problem, but we're going to speak about it, everything around this particular grid square today, but because that might be the case in other questions, but for this question, it does only want this particular grid square. You need to explain, so you need to say why. Um, you can't just say what your ideas are, you need to say why these are your ideas. Um, you need to talk about the advantages and disadvantages, the good things and the bad things about building some holiday homes in this area. He said you must use map evidence for your answer. So it's quite crucial that we do that. We need to give our map um, reference all the time and use grid square references. You might want to try and do your six figure grid referencing because it's quite crucial at times to pinpoint things within a, a grid. Whereas sometimes a four figure is fine if it's a larger area. When you talk about any roads or areas or forestry or diagrams or rivers, what you want to do is make sure that you name them. I mean, just very quickly, for example, you can see that all the rivers and areas have names. The Stone Circle, for example, has that sort of um, old English font in it. You would talk about that. And if you look at here, you'll see that it's a, a non-Roman Roman, uh, area. Okay, our, our old building. Okay, so what we're going to do is talk about the four marks. Now, before we um, we do that, this will be the item. Make sure you're using the key when you're unsure to, of any symbols. We need to allocate, we need to find and locate, sorry, the, the, the grid square of 5833. So, 5833, as we can see, is 58, just runs right there. Okay. 58 is that line there and the second bit is 33 now if we locate that just now it's 58 33 so we always create an L in the corner now it's this bit right here at the corner of Loch Tay so we're going to build holiday homes in here now let's think about the advantages and disadvantages of this area now like I said, for this particular question, we need to zoom in on this one grid square. Now, as we can see, it's made up of an island with forestry on it. We've got this little sketchy mark, it's marshland. In this corner, we have some forestry. This here is a trail. Then we have, this is also quite an important line I'm about to show you, is the yellow national park boundary. Now, the key thing about this box is that it lies in, let me get the zoomed in one, it lies in the national park boundary, okay. So we only have one contour line next to it, but we need to just focus in on here. Okay, we have some white space here as well. So they're potentially going to build the, the lodges here or here. So the advantage is there is available space because this white space shows that. There is a lack of contour lines, so it's flat land. It's an attractive site because, I mean, you do have water sports in this mouth of the river here um, for recreation. The national park or the yellow forestry, um, the forestry or the, or the national park boundary can actually be an attractive thing because people want to visit it. The disadvantage is that there's a limited access to the site there seems to be no main road in this specific grid square. Now, of course, we could mention the road here, but that does not relate to this grid square, so we wouldn't mention that it's good in terms of accessibility. Arguably, if it didn't hone in on this particular grid square, you could have mentioned 
but this main road, it being the uh, A8, A827, would have been a, a decent mark to have gotten. Now, the other thing, um, as a disadvantage, is planning permission. Because of the national park, sometimes they, they can deny planning of any development here because it's protected by law, by conservationists of the area. Another negative thing is that we are in a marshland and because it's marshy, that means it's prone to flooding, which might hinder development and might make it difficult to build on. The other thing that might be, might be difficult is if they actually build it here, where there's some forestry. Now, by removing this forestry, it could affect the wildlife. Additionally, when you have more people coming into this area, it could also cause noise pollution, where people are maybe camping and could um, could even there could even be uh, antisocial behaviour, such as sort of drinking and loud noises and playing music at night. It also could lead to, to litter being dropped by the people who are camping here, not um, cleaning up the campsite. Or it could be people at the lodge who are staying there in particular could leave litter or create noise as they're staying over um, night in the area. Now, that's only specific to this grid square. If it was for the other one, and we're talking about site, let's go through that. So the site in particular, okay, we've spoke about it being flat, it's ideal. In terms of the environment, we've spoke about E, for in heist, sorry. So we've got E, which is the environment, we've talked about this idea of being in a national park. We've spoke about um, E being a problem in terms of forestry close by. I, in terms of industry, we don't have much other than other sort of tourist things like the golf course, caravan site, We've got this old village where there seems to be a, a, a tourist interest site of a folklore centre. This is quite interesting. Um, you've got the Falls of Dokart, which is another tourist interest area, and a tourist information site. So in terms of industry close by this, these lodges and holiday homes would actually feed very well into the, the, the site, which is already here for industry. The next thing in terms of site, sorry, in terms of development, of course you can expand further because there is a lot of white space um, in here and you could expand further this way, okay, despite the water here, this could be redirected despite the cost. The other thing would be uh, T, in terms of transport, like I said, we do have this um, main road coming in to, to provide us with the opportunity to go in. You also have these tourist walks through the forest um, so it is a good site in general for these houses as well. Okay, now let's look at what the SQA have shown us as their answer and pause the video and have a read for yourself and make sure you're thinking about heist and how many things they've hit here. Okay, 